Hi, my name is Jordan King. I'm the STARS program coordinator here at AISHI. And this video is part of a series where AISHI staff highlight data quality tips and resources for credits in the latest version of STARS. Today, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know to submit high quality and accurate STARS 2.2 content for PA4, the Reporting Assurance Credit. During this video, I'll be referencing a few different resources that will be helpful as you work on this credit or others. These include the STARS Technical Manual, the My Submission section of the STARS Reporting Tool, the STARS 2.2 Review Template, and the AC Help Center. If you're new to STARS and don't know how to access some of these resources, check out our short video on navigating the resources and support section of STARS, which can be found under the section on basics. The Reporting Assurance Credit recognizes institutions that engage in a comprehensive data quality and assurance process before submitting a STARS report. This can include either an internal review by one or more individuals affiliated with the institution, but who are not directly involved in the data collection process for the credits they review, or an external audit by one or more individuals affiliated with other institutions, for instance, a peer institution or a third party contractor. Some institutions have also opted to combine internal and independent review, which is fine too. Under version 2.2, there are several points available to institutions that complete an assurance process prior to submitting their STARS report. One point is available in the reporting assurance credit that we're talking about today. Half a point is available in the inter-campus collaboration credit for providing a peer review of another institution's submission. And half a point is also available with the external reporting assurance exemplary practice credit when the institution's assurance process includes external review, for example, peer review or review done by a third party. We encourage institutions to pay close attention to this credit partly because it is part of our standard review process and also because AISHI reserves the right to withhold points for this credit if it's determined that the assurance process was unsuccessful in identifying and resolving inconsistencies or errors. For example, when AISHI staff identify a significant number of issues that are listed in the template as things to check for, but they were not identified as issues in the completed review template and addressed before submission, we reserve the right to withhold those points. Before we discuss the reporting assurance credit in more detail, it may be helpful to understand how the STARS data accuracy and reporting assurance process works. We do have a standard data accuracy process for all institutions that submit for a STARS bronze, silver, gold, or platinum rating. As soon as the report's submitted, it goes into our queue to be reviewed by ACHI staff prior to report publication. Approximately one-third of all credits are reviewed, and this includes a standard set of high error rate credits that we review for every institution, as well as some randomly selected credits. Every innovation and leadership credit is also reviewed, both for adherence to credit criteria and for identification of best practices. Submissions with a provisional platinum rating are then subject to a more comprehensive review. Once the review is completed, AISHI staff send a summary of the required revisions and recommended improvements to the institution's STARS liaison. This email typically goes out within a couple of weeks from the date that the report was submitted, and our goal is to have it out within 30 days. However, during peak submission time, which is about February through May, our review can take longer. After this email is sent, we move into the part of the process focused on revisions. All issues identified during AC staff review as not meeting credit criteria must be addressed before the report will be published. Institutions have 60 days from the date that the review results email was sent to address the staff concerns or until the end of their current subscription period, whichever is longer. This part of the process is collaborative, so it involves back and forth communication. And this means that if we identify an issue in a credit and the institution resubmits that credit, but the issue still isn't addressed, the credit will be unlocked again for further edits. Once all identified concerns have been addressed, the STARS report will be published. Over time, we noticed during our staff review that we were consistently finding errors in the same credits for most institutions. So in order to encourage data accuracy and expedite the review process for everyone, we developed a standard review template and an exemplary practice for pre-submission review in STARS version 2.1. A STARS review pilot was conducted in 2018 with 16 institutions that completed either an internal or peer review prior to submitting their report. Results of the pilot indicated that using the STARS review template is helpful in promoting data accuracy and expediting report publication. As a result, we replaced the pre-submission review exemplary practice with the reporting assurance credit in version 2.2. Because reporting assurance is now a standard credit, 
we hope that we will find fewer errors when we conduct our standard ACE staff review. As context, it may be helpful to know that 8 to 12 credits typically require revision as a result of our review. The expectation is that institutions who have conducted a thorough reporting assurance process will have fewer credits that require revision than this average that we typically see. To help facilitate reporting assurance, we've created a STARS review template, which highlights areas that are commonly misinterpreted and ensures that reviewers follow a standard review process. Use of the STARS review template is required in order to earn points under the reporting assurance credit. You'll notice as you look through the issues in the template that certain credits are highlighted. These are ones that have had particularly high error rates in the past that we typically check during our standard review. These are credits to pay close attention to while collecting data and during the reporting assurance process. You can find a summary of issues for this credit in one of two locations, either the Help Center article or the STARS 2.2 review template. First, this credit can only be marked as not applicable if the institution is renewing an existing rating under the same version of STARS. For instance, if you've already earned points for this credit in a published 2.2 report with a gold rating and you submit another 2.2 report with a gold rating, you can mark this credit as not applicable. However, if you submit under a new version or you earn a new rating, you cannot claim this credit as not applicable. Another common issue that's come up is reviewers not affirming that all issues were addressed prior to submission. To earn points, reviewers must affirm that the submission was reviewed in full and that any identified inconsistencies have been addressed. For examples of what a completed review template might look like, please take a look at the version 2.1 reporting examples in the Help Center. Although the version 2.1 template was used in these examples, it is structurally similar to the 2.2 template. Confirming that identified issues were addressed is an important aspect of the review process. As ACE staff reviewers, we can attest that sometimes an issue may not get addressed on the first try. In fact, two, three, or more attempts are common. So it's important to make sure that your reviewer is satisfied with the way you address their comments and that everything is documented in the template that you upload. One additional tip that I'll mention is that the review template can be extremely helpful to use while gathering and entering data. All of the common issues that we identify for each STARS credit are contained within the review template. Therefore, it offers an easy checklist of the issues you should look for as you enter the data into the reporting tool or as you communicate with your data providers. It's typically a lot easier to request additional information or clarification from folks providing you data on the front end rather than several months later during the review and revision process. As a final reminder, this credit is intended to help institutions submit more accurate data and higher quality reports. If during our standard review process, it's determined that the review was clearly not successful in limiting inconsistencies or errors, ACE does reserve the right to withhold points. To ensure that your institution earns points for this credit, please be sure to check for each item in the review template and make revisions as needed. When in doubt, feel free to reach out to us with any questions before submitting. We're always happy to lend a hand in helping you put your best foot forward. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please post in the STARS community or reach out to stars at ac.org. We're here to help and wish you the best on your STARS journey.